Up until yesterday, this was one of the best images of the Tarantula Nebula we had ever seen, taken by our good old friend, the Hubble Telescope. This, however, is the new image of the same nebula provided to us by the near cam of the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope. Pause the video if you like and enjoy this new jaw-dropping view that Webb has granted us. In this video, I want to share with you some cool facts about this nebula that I think everybody should know about. To begin with, the Tarantula Nebula is a stellar nursery, officially called 30 Dorados, located at roughly 161,000 light years away from us in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. And it is the brightest star forming region in the so called local group, which is the name given to the galaxies nearest to us, and also includes our own Milky Way. If you would like to travel across the zone shown in this image, you would need to embark on a 340 year journey at the speed of light. And it is also in this very star forming region where the hottest and most massive stars known to us are found. The cavity you see in the center of the near infrared image has been literally blown out by powerful stellar winds and radiation coming from the cluster of massive young stars present in the background and which are responsible for the pale blue light being emitted. The name of this cluster is R136 and it is one of the most energetic star clusters known. There are more than 40 massive stars contained within it, each one of them at least 50 times more massive than our Sun. Another eye-catching object found in the upper part of the nebula's cavity is an older star that clearly displays the by now well-known eight diffraction spikes a distinctive feature of Webb's near-infrared camera. If we follow the top central spike of this star upward, we reach a smaller region that looks almost like a bubble. Astronomers believe young stars still shrouded by dusty material within this bubble are beginning to carve out their own cavity. The central region of the nebula takes on a different appearance when viewed in longer infrared wavelengths detected by the mid-infrared instrument. The hot blue stars fade, allowing the cooler gas and dust to glow brighter. New points of light are also revealed, which indicate the formation of new, very young stars that are still gaining mass. One of the main reasons the Tarantula Nebula is so interesting to astronomers is directly related to the star formation process. Unlike the star forming regions in our own Milky Way galaxy, this one has a similar type of chemical composition as the gargantuan star forming regions observed at the so called Universe Cosmic Noon, a period where the cosmos is believed to have been only a few billion years old and star formation was at its peak. Therefore, the Tarantula is the closest example of what might have been happening in the early universe as it reached its brilliant high noon. Far out from the center of the nebula, we are able to observe how the colder gas takes on a rusty, almost reddish color, which is a telltale sign that the nebula is rich with complex hydrocarbons. In the future, as winds from the many massive stars sweep away the dense gas and dust, some of it will pile up and with the help of gravity, new stars will form. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you liked it and found this stuff as fascinating as I found it. Hopefully you could also learn something new. I will see you again soon in the next video. Until then, have a nice day wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.